On December 16, 1773, dozens of Bostonians gathered together at Griffin's Wharf and dumped over 46 tons of tea into the harbor, sparking a series of events that would eventually lead to the War for American Independence. This story has been told as a local story of patriot, patriotic Bostonians and their rivals. It's been told as an imperial story of colonists versus British officials. Uh, it's been told as a national story of the beginnings of the American Revolution and the American nation. But we also need to tell a global story of the Boston Tea Party, as we can see in the first image, a German print uh, that shows people of African, American, and uh, Native American and European descent watching the Boston Tea Party unfold in the harbor. Uh, this is an imagined scene, but I still think that it shows uh, the, the, the global flavor of the Tea Party and its importance and the type of people uh, that uh, the events of the revolutionary era, um, the, the type of impact that these events were having on different peoples. Um, so here's the way in which we can think of the Tea Party as a global event. You have the East India Company, which is becoming more and more of a territorial force in South Asia in the 1760s and 1770s. Their principal product, tea, is farmed in China uh, and suddenly becomes popular among Europeans during the 1600s. Um, it's mixed with sugar, uh, which is farmed by Afro principally by Afro-Caribbeans. Uh, when the Bostonians protest the East India Company, they dress as Native Americans. Uh, and this is an incident that also has a global resonance for hundreds of years afterwards. Um, this is also something we can see in the second image, uh, which was published in Paris in 1778. In this image, Father Time projects an image of an exploding teapot uh, and, uh, and, and shows the, the Revolutionary War uh, with allegorical figures in the foreground representing America, Africa, Europe and Asia all looking on and watching these events unfold. Uh, in this image, an American army advances on the British army while a rattlesnake leaps from the teapot, and the rattlesnake itself was uh, another symbol of America. Meanwhile, a French rooster fans the flames uh, and stands atop a defeated British lion. So in many ways, the tea was seen as being at the root of a global conflict only five years later in 1778.